Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. This is a monster beer, guys, and I thought my, my buddy Parrish had sent me this, but I don't have... Usually I put a piece of tape on the back of the bottle and it tells me who sent me what, but I don't have anything on the back of this bottle. But I'm thinking Parrish may have sent it to me, but I may be mistaken. Somebody else may have sent it to me. I'm pretty sure I did not pick this up locally, but I don't have a label on it, so if, if you sent me this beer, I apologize that I do not have it marked or labeled. I have had this beer quite a while. Uh, that's why I'm thinking Parrish may have sent it to me earlier in, in this year. But I don't have anything written on it, so my bust, my bad. Uh, and it comes in a, a brown paper bottle with a uh, string attached to it with a label here on it. Inland Empire, which is Inland Brewing, and they are out of... Riverside, California. This is the River Tucky 2014 Reserve Series Imperial Stout aged in oak bourbon barrels. Uh, says here the IBUs are 84 and this is a 16 16% beer guys. 16% alcohol by volume written on the bag here. So I'm going to go ahead and take, take this off. And that's why I've not been in a hurry to do this beer since it was a 16% Imperial Stout. This beer is going to keep for 20 years or longer, guys. But uh, I don't think I, I think somebody sent this to me. I don't think I bought this locally. And I do, I do not have a name written on the back of it. So I'm thinking my buddy Paris sent it to me, but he may not have. I'm pretty sure I did not buy this locally. I may be mistaken. Because I've had it so long, and I'm old and senile in my in my older age here, guys. And with everything going on here, my mind is just all over the damn place. I got too much going on for my old feeble mind, guys. I can't get this thing untied. Well, I know what I can do. So much for that string. Very nice packaging, but this bag and label and all that just adds cost to the beer as far as I'm concerned. They could have done just as fine by, by putting the bottle just like this without all this uh, do on, uh, on the bottle. This, all this just adds cost to the beer. Uh, Inland Brewing, the River Tucky 2014, got the exact same thing. This is this is bottle number 30 out of 1,000. They only did 1,000 of these bottles. And this is, the, this is bottle number 30. So this is a very early run uh, for 1,000 bottles that they only did. And it's got the little wine cap type deal on here where you end up peeling it off. And all that comes right off just like a wine bottle does. Plain silver cap. 16%. I mean, that. this is a monster beer. Ooh. And I have had quite a few monster beers, especially from Avery. They are known for doing some great big monster beers, seven, 16, 17, 18, even 20% alcohol beers. So, uh, this is the final beer of the evening. And uh, I know this is going to be a pretty tasty beer. I, I don't recall ha ever having anything from this brewery before. Uh, like I said, I don't think I purchased here purchases this locally. I may have, because it doesn't have a piece of tape on the back of it or uh, that I've written on it from whoever sent it to me. So if you did send me this beer, I do apologize. I sincerely 
apologize that I'm not shouting you out when I'm doing the beer review. But I've had this one, this has been sitting on a counter for quite a while. Six, eight months, maybe even longer. So, uh, I'm sorry, if you, if, you, if you sent me this beer and uh, I did not purchase it locally, uh, I apologize for not shouting you out. But, I do, but I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking that Parrish may have sent me this, but I may be mistaken, guys. So let's get on with this one. 16% uh, commercial description on this one says, This second installment of our River Tucky Reserve is an imperial stout brewed here in Riverside and aids a full year in Kentucky bourbon barrels. A whole year. That, that adds cost to the beer. And, and this adds cost to the beer, and this adds cost to the beer. And all this stuff adds cost to the beer, so I'm thinking this is not a cheap bottle of beer. Especially being 16%, aged a full year in bourbon barrels, and with us, all this ado wrapped around the bottle. Uh, it wouldn't be surprised if this was not a $25 bottle of beer, maybe even more, maybe even $30 bottle of beer. That's why I feel bad. If you sent me this beer and I don't have your name on the back of it, uh, I feel bad. I, I feel like I have dropped the ball. So, uh, I always want to shout out everybody that sends me beers. I always want to shout you guys out when I get the beer in the beer mail package and when I do the, the beer review. Uh, and not having a name on the back of the bottle, I'm sad. I'm sad. Uh, I feel like I've, I've not done my job. So, uh, with that being said, if, 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 if Paris sent it to me, thank you, brother. If somebody else has sent me this beer, I am so sorry that I, didn't, I did not write that on the, the, the bag or, or a piece of tape on the back of the bottle. I, I may have even purchased this myself, but it's been so long ago. With everything else going on, my little feeble mind is just <coughs> all over the place. I'm sorry. So, let's, let's do this beer. I'm ready for it. The final beer of the evening, 16 percenter, aged in bourbon barrels for a full year. This ought to be a big treat. All right, I'll give you uh, the commercial description. Uh, I don't have the IBUs listed here, unless it was on the bag. It was on the bag, I think. IBUs are 84. So uh, let's see what this one brings. Food pairings for this style is an American style cheese and buttery brie, good of Havarti Swiss. And since it is a style, it goes well to chocolate dishes. And it says here the meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass brought a pint, macaronic tumbler, snifter, oversized wine glass. I got the solvent beer glass today, guys. And it says here it can be set up for a long period. 16%. This beer would definitely keep for 20 years. You can have this beer whenever you so desire. Buy it fresh, drink it fresh, keep it 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20 years. This beer is this will get more complex and more tasty over time. Nothing else we need to talk about. So let's get the cap off of this puppy and see what this one brings to the table. I just feel bad, guys, because I think somebody sent me this beer and did not buy it and I don't have their name on it. Eight percent I'm not pouring much of a head here, guys. Didn't really think it would. And this is a bomber. It's a 22 ouncer. Enough to share, which I intend to do. Uh, about a half a finger of head over to the light. And there is none. It is pitch black, guys. It looks a little lighter coming out of the bottle, but in this glass, it is pitch black. Even in the, in the narrow part of the glass. Maybe some light, slightly red ruby tendons around this thin part. But not much. It's pretty dark. Let's get a nose on it. Slight hints of some bourbon in there. For something that's been in a barrel for a full year, now I'm getting more and more now. I am definitely getting the bourbon now. But I've actually had more bourbon from other beers that are lower ABV. I'm not sure this is a first run beer in that bourbon barrel. I would hope so, but I'm not sure. The bourbon is there, guys. 
The more it breathes, the more I'm getting the bourbon. Dark fruit, candied sugars, maybe even some brown sugar in there, dark fruits, some chocolate, maybe some hints of coffee. Mm, that's pretty good. Let's give it a taste. And as you can see, the head is dissipated. It's not even covering the beer. That is so good. Bittersweet chocolate, dark fruit, raisins, plums, figs. Burnt, roasted malt. Slight hints of alcohol. I'm not going to get away from that at 16%. 2014 edition. Been in the bottle over a year. Wow, that is very tasty. Very, very tasty. I think this, this brewery is fairly small because both Beer Advocate and Rate Beer doesn't have any ratings on this. So pretty obscure. I don't know how big this brewery is. That's why it leads me to think somebody sent me this and so I mean purchasing it myself. And I and like I said, I'm I am so sorry uh, that I do not have anybody's name to shout out that uh, I'm pretty sure Parrish may have sent me this, but I am not sure. So I am sorry. I apologize if you sent me this beer. Wow. The bourbon in this beer is not overpowering everything else. It's a little subdued but that lets everything else come out. And we're going to sip on it for probably 30, 45 minutes or so and let it come up to room temperature and see what else uh, we can pick up from this beer. But it uh, seems like a very, very tasty beer. And with all the packaging and everything and plus on top of that 16 percent then on top of that it was aged in the bourbon barrels for a full year i'm sure this was a very pricey beer very pricey beer that's why it saddens me if you send me a coors light i'm not going to be too concerned about it but you send me something like this that's probably a 25 dollar bottle and i don't have your name on it that chaps my ass i feel like i've let you i've let somebody down that, had, that has spent their money and sent this to me, so I'm, I'm sad over that because I'm pretty sure I did not buy this beer. Especially when I look at the ratings and there are none for either site. Very, probably very small brewery, uh, very limited edition beer. And uh, if you sent me this beer, put a comment in there and I'll, uh, I am so sorry. So, But the beer is great. Uh, let me uh, sip on it for a little while and uh, see where this one ends up. I usually always try to put a, a, a name on the back of the bottle when somebody sends me uh, something especially of this caliber. And uh, this one may have slipped, uh, slipped through the cracks just a little bit, guys. So I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't want to keep saying that, but I, I feel bad when I get a, a beer of this ABV and this magnitude and this quality and I'm sure of this pricey that I don't have a name on the back of the bottle. So. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So let me sip on it. See where this one ends up. Uh, I'm sure it's probably going to be end up being a, uh, a really good beer. So I'll be right back, and we'll see where this one ends up. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sitting on about 45 minutes. Very. Oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups. Been sitting on about 45 minutes or so. Very tasty beer. Very, very, very tasty beer. Uh, 16% uh, very well made beer that the alcohol booziness is there is there excuse me but it's it's a very tasty beer I mean it's a, a beer can be cellar for a long period of time five, five ten 
15, even 20 years uh, over time. So uh, very nice, very, very nice. Very uh, rich roast, roasty malt, dark fruits uh, in the spear. Very well made. I mean, for a whole year in a bourbon barrel aged beer, it's very, very nice. So, without putting you through all the hiccups that I'm having right now, final chug. Very nice. Very roasty. Very well made. Rich roasted malts, dark fruits in there, bittersweet chocolate. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, with all the packaging they've got with the brown bag and the rope tied on there with the label and 16% and aged in bourbon barrels for a full year. Uh, very pricey beer, I'm sure. Uh, it's. Uh, it's, it, and, and I don't want to keep going into this, but it saddens me because I don't think I bought this beer and somebody sent it to me and I don't have a damn name on it and it chaps my ass that, that, uh, that, that I don't have somebody's name to shout out for sending me this beer because I know it wasn't a very expensive beer to buy and purchase and ship to me. Uh, I, I apologize. I do apologize. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm thinking that Parrish sent me this beer, so Parrish, my brother, uh, I do apologize if you sent me this beer and I don't have your name on the back of the bottle uh, to let me know that you did send me this beer and you spent your hard-earned money or if somebody else did and, and, and I don't have your name to shout out when I'm doing the beer review. It is an awesome beer, guys. Uh, there are no scores either at Ray Beer or Beer Advocate. As far as I'm concerned, it's a tin beer. It is a very, very tasty beer. The alcohol is there. It's a 16 percenter. It's hard to hide 16 percent alcohol, uh, but it's not burning or overpowering or anything like that. I am getting the bourbon. I am getting the dark fruits. I'm getting the rich roasty malt. I'm getting hints of vanilla. Uh, a lot of stuff going on with this beer, and it's a prime candidate to seller. If you want to sell this beer for 5, 10, 15, even 20 years, uh, this beer is going to keep at uh, 16%. Uh, I can't think of a single thing that's going to fade over time on this particular beer. So, a great beer for a special occasion or for special friends that come over and you want to share this beer with 3, 4, 5, even 6 people, pour them a little bit, uh, they will get the idea and they will get uh, or the spear is trying to go. Very nice. Very well made beer. Very, very nice. Like I said, Rate Beer and Beer Advocate doesn't have any reviews on this beer. So that leads me to think it's a fairly small brewery, very, fairly limited uh, distribution for this beer uh, for 16%. So uh, uh, it, just, it just upsets me so much that I don't have somebody's name on the back of this bottle knowing that it is a very expensive beer to purchase. So uh, I am so sorry if you sent this beer to me and I don't have your name to shout out. So I keep saying that over and over, but it, it chaps my ass that, that it, I don't have somebody's name to put on this beer that they sent it to me and they spent their hard-earned money on this beer and then paid to ship it to me. So uh, uh, I apologize. Alright guys, I'm on my own for this, uh, especially since Beer Advocate and Red Beer doesn't have any ra enough ratings to give a uh, rating on this. It's a 10 from me. It's, it's, it's definitely an outstanding beer. It's a world class beer. It's an exceptional beer. It's definitely a beer worth picking up. If you're into the Imperial Stouts, especially the big, super big monster, 16%, uh, very well made beer. A nice beer to finish up the evening, which is what I did. This is the final beer of the evening. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, all the aspects uh, that you would expect from an Imperial Stout. Uh, aged in bourbon barrels for a full year. Very, very, very nice. Very, very nice. I enjoyed it. And if it was available here, which it may have been, I may have purchased this. I'm not sure yet. My memory is just gone. <laughs> uh, 
uh, memory overload, if you will, guys. So, it's a very nice beer. If you've had this one from uh, Inland Empire, the River Tucky Reserve Series 2014, let me know what you think. I loved it. It was awesome. The other half loved it, too. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. And come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in that fridge. We're going to dig some good stuff out. See you then.